What's up, guys? There's an update available for me, Encoder. I'm Luna Wolf and Max S. As soon as I started it, like I had an update pop up. It's always happened. Leon Washer requested and wanted me to watch Understanding European Soccer for Americans. <clears throat> European Soccer. And pretty much anywhere in the, else in the world, it's called football. But in America, it's called soccer. And I actually wonder, like, I want to know, why is that? Why do we call it soccer here and everywhere else? I think it's because Americans just want to do things differently. They're like, um, you know, you say this, we're going to say it completely different. I don't know why we do that, but whatever, we'll figure it out eventually. If you want to get your name on that board, all you got to do is subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and let me know what you want to see. And you will eventually end up on the board. I'll react to anything, guys. It could be like monkeys on bicycles. It could be pigs uh, on fighter jets. I really don't care. It could be your own video. I'll react to it. Uh, it doesn't matter. So request away. Subscribe. Request away. If you want to watch this video without me running my mouth, which I will do, uh, go to pen and paper. It's seriously just pen and paper. They got a, a pretty, I guess it looks like a pretty cool channel. They, they write everything down on paper with pens. So let's go ahead and get this started. Welcome to Understanding Soccer in Europe in Four Simple Steps, a guide for Americans. A guide for Although Americans. Although from the outside it may seem complex and confusing, to understand how soccer works in Europe, you really only need to know four things. Number one, each country has its own soccer league. Seasons run from August to May, in which each team plays every other I team twice, knew that. once at home and once on the road. Games are divided into two 45 minute halves. And when the game is over, the winner is awarded three points, the loser zero, and in the event of a tie, each team gets one point. After each team has played all the other teams twice, the team with the most points is crowned champion of the league. They get a big trophy, a parade, and the season is over. That makes there are sense. no playoffs. Sort of. But more on that in a minute. Before the books are closed on the season, there is still one small bit of housekeeping to be done. Number two, relegation. We'll use the German League as an example. Every year, when the German League has concluded and the champion has been crowned, the three teams with the least amount of points are kicked out of the league. This process like is known as relegation. The three vacant spots are subsequently filled by the top three teams from Germany's second division. I and like unlike, say, baseball in the U.S., teams in the second and subsequent divisions are not owned by teams in the top division. Imagine if the Pittsburgh Pirates or Oakland Raiders had to fight at the end of each season just to stay in the league. What if instead of coasting to the bottom for better draft picks, that they would, were fighting to the bitter end that would to be avoid awesome. the $40 million revenue loss that relegated teams suffer in the first year alone? Not to mention the fact that in England, nine different teams have gone financially insolvent within five years of relegation. Wow. Okay, interesting enough, you're thinking. But what about that whole lack of playoffs part? Number three. Each country also holds an elimination-style tournament, referred to as a cup. But instead of being held after the nine-month league is over, cup games are scheduled in between league games, normally in the middle of the week. That's One additional cool. perk about the cup system is that teams from all levels, down to semi-professional and even some amateur teams, are invited to play. And if they do well, can progress, and occasionally even knock off a top team. So that, every year, I love when these it, midweek the, I love the underdog games story. continue until there are only two teams left who play each other in the cup final. After 90 minutes, a cup champion is crowned, they get a trophy, and a parade. So, between the league and cup so games, two ways we to get win. a great picture of who the best and worst teams in each country are. But wait a second, you ask. What would happen if the best teams from each country in Europe all got together and played each other? Good <laughs> idea. Number four. The resulting competition is called the UEFA Champions League, and it is without a doubt the single greatest club competition of any sport anywhere in the world, period. Think of the NCAA tournament, but with better quality of play, more than double the fan base, and quadruple the enthusiasm. And yes, Europe even has their own version of the NIT as well. So, through a complex and drawn out process, teams from all over Europe compete just to qualify for this tournament. That's and cool. starting each September, the top 32 teams are put into eight groups of four. Each team plays the other members of its group two times, once at home and once on the road. Come December, the winner and runner up from each group move on to the knockout round. And this is where club soccer is at its finest. Teams are paired up individually and again play one home and one away game, with the winner from each pair moving on to the next round until only two teams remain. The Champions League final is then held as a single game each year in May. And unless it's the World Cup year, this is the most important soccer game of the year. After 90 minutes, a champion is crowned, the trophy is awarded, parades commence, and all clubs you go on break three fires back up again in August. So, to review, number one, 
Each country has its own league. Number two, the worst teams are kicked out of the league and replaced by the best teams from the next division down. That's number one of three, my favorite rules. Year, each country also holds a playoff type tournament called a cup. And number four, the UEFA Champions League is a tournament involving all of Europe and is the most important competition in all of club soccer. The end. Wow. That was a really good video. Straight to the point. Dude, this, okay, it has 138,000 um, views, this video, and it has 616 comments. By like the ratios that I've seen on my videos, that's a ton of comments compared to like that. That's not that many views. 138,000 is not that many views, even though I, I have not accomplished that. But to have 138,000 views and 616 comments, that's a lot of comments compared to how many views this has. So apparently, uh, this is, uh, uh, people are just involved in this video. That's kind of what I strive to do. Get involvement. I don't want just that clickbait. I don't want to have a million views and have like only a thousand comments. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's just not that great. I like how I'm going completely away from what the video is about, but that's kind of what I do. What is the top comment? <laughs> the first thing to learn is its name. It's football. Ha! That's, that's good. That's pretty good. I don't understand. I guess because we call it soccer, but where did we get soccer from? We call it soccer because we have football in America. And you've got to realize that England calls it football, and America is basically like England split, and then you have America. You know what I'm saying? So, like, why did we call it soccer? I don't I don't know if soccer was around during the the war for independence or whatever I don't, I don't know the revolutionary war i don't know if it was around back then um what's this every like seriously every comment is it's football your sport is what is egg ball egg ball it kind of is but whatever you pick the one league in european football that has irregular regulation system in europe we have football not soccer that's seriously Every comment says something about the, the word soccer. It's funny how much that word sets people off. Whereas over here, it's the same thing. If, if you call soccer football, you're going to have confusion. They're not going to get mad. They're just going to be like, you're, you're talking about football, like NFL football. Like where, where two teams face off and try and throw the ball and stuff. They'll get confused. It won't be like a mad thing. And then they'll eventually get mad. They'll be like, this... We're not talking about soccer. You know what I'm saying? It's so funny. That's probably going to be the start of World War III. World War III is going to be an argument over whether it's called football or soccer. And it's going to be an entire world versus America. <laughs> but uh, anyways, Leon Washer, I appreciate you requesting that. That was a really good... It, it didn't really explain the rules of soccer, but it kind of broke down how soccer is played as in the leagues and all that stuff. Which I kind of knew the first half, but I didn't know the second half. Like in England, you got, what is it, the Premier League? And I, I did know that like the, the bottom team or teams or whatever, they move down and then that team moves up and so on and so forth throughout the different brackets or whatever. I think that is such a cool idea. I think the closest thing we have to that system is college football. And I'm talking about American throw the football type thing. I'm talking about football. Uh, <laughs> um, that's the closest thing we have is college. We have leagues. There's there's the top college football teams, and then there's football uh, leagues under that. And I wish they did that. I wish the worst team of a certain league would drop down to the lower teams, and then so on and so forth. They move up or whatever, but... Anyways, Leon Washer, I appreciate you watching that. Remember, if you want to get your name on the board, all you got to do is subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you will see. You'll eventually end up on the board, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Check me out, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter. Like always, check me out on the street.